sitting here talking about anything that's happening in the news right now with rappers or anything. Um, but just the usual. Yeah. You know what's going on. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's it's me, your overseer, April, and we are here tonight playing Fallout Winter of Adam. And, uh, yeah, we're on episode, what was it? Did I put it in the thing? I didn't put the episode number. I think it's 23. What Lies Beneath is the name of our episode tonight. We went going under, and it wasn't what you thought it was. It was going under covers. Um, as we had a very interesting save point last session. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, I, I saw a party horn, and I did want to say we had a very special birthday. The big 3 for our very oh, own awesome Protectron and ooh, Bethesda ooh, resident, Nywall. Big 3 ooh, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Yes, so happy birthday. I know, right? Baby. No kidding. We're all like geriatrics. Compared oh, to, no, not really. Not really. Like, no. Bones. Yeah, so I'm making knees. through this wasteland. My knees are hurting already. Dude. <laughs> I, I'm hoping the black don't crack and, and the white doesn't show up and get in the way of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be a mix, okay. man. You never know which gamble side you get. I don't know. Uh, that is 1,000% correct, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to hear. I've got like I had a back spasm all last week, and I have a bad knee for no reason. I yeah, it's, no, it's it's not it, it speaks for itself. Great. Yeah, my my whole hip cracked when walking the fashion district this past weekend. <sighs> that that was fun, and my 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 friend was like, "What was that noise? My hip." Real talk though, mm -hmm. like I will say, still though, thirties are way better than my twenties were. That is that is true. That, that is true. accurate. Can't confirm. You know, and if any time we're feeling insecure about it, that's why we role play as younger characters. And exactly. Or synths <laughs> or robots. Or synths <laughs> or robots. I just get to live. Children of Adam yeah. <laughs> under his glow yes. and never have issues with their joints. Yeah, just always no, glowing. Six foot seven super ripped dudes that totally got to hang out with Piper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hanging out, that's what we call it nowadays, huh? Mm -hmm. Just something was hanging out. Wasn't a whole lot of hanging. <laughs> Nuka Cola and chill. Nuka Cola and chill. That should be a thing. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I like this term. This term should this term should be a thing. Um hashtag Nuka Cola and Chill. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so what happened last week, besides the Nuka Cola and Chill, uh, we had Stud and Nagy that got in, uh, that uh, were able to uh, talk their way into getting some hazmat suits, as some of y'all are not immune to radiation, kind of. Basically, one of you. One of you is not immune to radiation, but. I like it. Other than the dog, but you like radiation, so we could. Uh, so that's fun. So you got some hazmat suits uh, borrowed from uh, Percy and Myrna. Percy is a um, was another protectron, no, uh, Mr. Handy unit that was very interested in uh, Stud's background and finding out that he knows of the galvanized girls and might be able to get in good a good word with one of them. So uh, once the once y'all clear out the the trade back to some of these cities including Big Top where she is possibly located. So he's like, be my wingman and I'll hook you up. Uh, Myrna doesn't have to know. <laughs> these are on loan. And um, yeah, so that, that, that was fun. Uh, Maggie got poked by a needle by Myrna who is very paranoid about this whole body snatcher synth thing that's been supposedly happening, maybe, maybe not in Diamond City. Uh, so she just wanted to see if you'd bleed normal. Because that surely is a sign. Of course, generation synths aren't completely human. And I, have... Did we establish if the blood was actually normal? Oh, or yeah. was, it was it like glowing? You might have had a little you know? bit of, yeah, it's, we'll say that you had a little bit of like, because you're all glowy. You, you've got this, you've got this aura about you <laughs> that everybody can see, not just the, 
be in tuned, I guess. Um, and then uh, Sport and Rob were able to fix the water purification system, um, which was interesting. He found out that it possibly, uh, the manual had possibly been sabotaged and also some of the piping by who knows who, possibly the children of Adam that she ran off. It, it's Maybe. okay, I get it. We were helping everybody quench their thirst and well, some of us know how to lay pipes. So it's very, it mm -hmm. was a very, it was a very productive session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, with mm -hmm. Rob's assistance, Sport knew exactly how to lay pipe. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, there's some teamwork and an assist going on there. Uh, <laughs> and then, <laughs> If that was not enough, there were some peeping toms, a.k.a. birds. This is just going to be a whole punny uh, uh, session. We're just going to... I think Ian's going to quit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to party. It's fine. Ian's like, I regret my decisions. <laughs> Gosh. So you did see there were some birds. There were some birds watching you, trying to get a closer look at them. They started tapping on the water purification system didn't sound like beak on metal. It sounded like metal on metal. Didn't sound normal. Rob was like, meh, uh, looks like nothing to me. Uh, but Sport just super paranoid now, always seeing these birds in Diamond City. Anytime you might see any appear, Sport's just automatically like, are they looking at me? So that's fun, paranoia. And then um, <laughs> uh, the rest of you went back to the dugout in, except for Sport. Well, Sport went initially. Uh, you got some drinks at the Dugout Inn, and then you were able to tell your story about what you know about the Children of Adam and what they're brewing up, or at least what you've heard um, about the Children of, Ad Children of Adam and the Last Son of Adam, and they were ve very grateful for that information, and you got um, your rooms and everything at the Dugout Inn to stay the evening, uh, but not before Sport was like, you know what, Piper did say that we could stay with her. Uh, and after a pep talk, uh, sport, sport, sport took off to see what, what, what might happen. And, uh, you did send along Bolt as a wingman or a wing pup, which is awesome. And, uh, on the way there, saw some birds. Again, but I mean, they're birds. You never know. They're just watching. Birds. They're just always watching. But you did make it there. Piper was so happy to see you. Had you come in, had some drinks, had a good snuggle, and then you went undercover. <laughs> uh, undercover. So that's where we left off. Uh, we did fade to black. Um, we will pick up, unless there's anything anybody needed. Yes. <laughs> Nuka Cola and Chill. That's what it was Nuka Cola and Chill. Uh, and. Um, so that's what we're going to pick up in the morning, unless there's anything in particular that you would all like to have discussed or done before everyone else went to Undercover and Netflix and chill for the evening. Netflix and chill. Nuka Cola and chill. <laughs> it's both red. It's both red. Yeah. It was a slip. Uh, so anything in particular? Nothing? Everyone's good to just... Yeah. All, all right. So because I know what sport was doing. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. so um, I will start with then with Maggie Stud and Rob. You all wake up in your your um, beds. Well, I guess uh, Stud, you might not go lay on a bed, right? You usually nah, just shut I'd off in the corner. Mode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you you all uh, wake up and uh, come to in your room, and you notice you're looking around. Um, the, the sun is starting to peek through some of the cracks, um, cracks in the walls and underneath the door, and you're noticing there's no sport. Sport has not come back. And there's nowhere to be seen. No, no, no. Uh, what, what's the matter? Wake there? up. Oh, oh, no. What, what, what's the matter? What, what, what's going on? I was too hard. I was too what? mean. Wait. Quit the band. Wait, wait, you, you, you got into some type of altercation with Sport? What, what, what happened? Oh. Where, 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 where were we? Well, it's, it's not. It wasn't just one altercation. It was just, you know, multiple times, and he, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like perhaps I was a little too mean in the past, and finally, you know, it's just straw that broke the camel's back. Well. 
I, I, I just don't think that um, sport isn't that type of person to just get up and leave like family behind. I don't, I don't, I don't really believe that that, that that's the situation. And I, you've never been, unless I, I've missed certain um, situations that were curious and 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 uh, and aggressive. I, I haven't seen anything where you know sport was off crying or saying that you were a meanie or anything. I mean, I, I, I don't well, know about all that. It was likely internalized. This isn't the first time this happened in show business, you know. There's a reason why they had to recast the, the mom in uh, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know. Oh, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if you ever told me. Um, uh, she definitely opens her book and she tries to look to see if there was any chapter of uh, of Stud's story, long life autobiography story that uh, she missed with with the Fresh Prince situation. Oh, it was iconic back in well, 1990. Well, we don't have anything from that time, I don't uh, think, in here. Um, about, all about how someone's life got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> uh, if you want to sit a moment and then, you know, stay right here, I can tell you all about the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, I, I need to to know about um, this Fresh Prince, um, like what royalty? Like, was no, where, I, where, I, where did he? Um, I, I'll have you know. to tell you on the road because we need to. I think we're gonna oh, have, to okay. have casting right. calls to replace sports, so uh, I'll get to work on the flyers <laughs> immediately. Wait, but no, we don't have a couch for that. You said there was something about a casting couch. We don't oh, have oh, no oh, couch. Oh. Where are we gonna find a couch out oh, here in oh. down the city? Oh, Different oh, maybe at the third plus store. Different production. Look, different production. Oh, all right. That's more of a, that's like maybe once in a while kind of thing. This is not a while. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, listen, I'm not about to, I don't know anything about this show business. You taught me everything that I know now, so I, I'll just make note of that going forward. Perhaps, perhaps sport is not left. Uh, their evanescence, their gradual departure, perhaps they are just up earlier than, than us, and hmm. perhaps they are downstairs waiting. Perhaps we should get going then, and we will find, we will find sport indeed. Mm -hmm. Plus sport has Rex. Rex is also not returned. That oh. bastard took my dog to me. <laughs> <laughs> just like it. Oh, just like traditional America, some things no, are No, maybe, um, cause you know, um, the puppet um, needs to, to relieve itself every now and again. Maybe that's just, it's just a long walk, you know. Um, it, 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 it's getting the things out of its, its body that it needs to for the day. All right, I'll smoke this copium. Let's, uh, let's go out here. All right. Yeah, they probably just went for a walk, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to leave your room and yes. go in search of Sport and Rex? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, back at, um, <laughs> back at, oh my gosh, uh, gosh, why am I blanking? Piper. Piper. Gosh, that's there you know. Oh my God, that's so it good. Right there. It was right there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. <laughs> so good cry. Okay. So, back at Piper's place. Um, Sport, uh, you wake up. Um, still still on the couch. Um, your, your clothes are kind of over there and over there. And Piper is comfortably a weighted blanket. Uh, with a blanket over her, and Rex is still on the floor, just being the goodest, the goodest puppers, right by the door, keeping guard for you guys. Oh. Um, <laughs> did I say Bolt? Bolt. Who did I I'll say? I'll be damned if you compare you say that Rex. dog to Rex? Rex? Oh gosh, sorry, Bolt. Why did I say Rex? He doesn't like Elvis Presley. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Um, all of these jokes have me just like. I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking. <laughs> Who's Rex? And I just thought that I, I, I was just going with the flow, and I was like, did we name the dog? I thought the dog's name was something. <laughs> I was like, you know, that's probably just Maggie being Maggie. It's fine. I think because I see <laughs> Robo, I see the Robo, like I see Rex, like mm -hmm. in my brain when I think of Bolt. Like that's that's my problem. My my disassociate my, my association. Um, but yeah, so you wake up, um, and Piper's just like snoring, just quietly. 
Yeah, I think Sport just kind of like wakes up, sees Piper, just kind of like puts his arms like Aww. over and around, and is just kind of like, hey, human contact. Um, and is just kind of hanging out, is like stupid grin ear to ear, kind of like going like, oh yeah. Like feeling way relaxed all of a sudden, like oh. hears birds outside and is like, I need to fuck them birds. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, you're just like, what birds? Oh, fuck them birds. Yeah, what birds? Um, so yeah, uh, with this, wrapping your arms around Piper, uh, she stirs and uh, she's like, oh, uh, well, good morning to you too. Hope I didn't keep you up too late last night. I know you've got a busy day. Uh, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm definitely not going to complain. <clears throat> uh, I bet your your friends are probably wondering uh, where you are. Do you want something to eat before you go and find uh, them? Yeah, I should probably. Uh, yeah, we. Could, yeah, I should probably do that real quick because uh, knowing them, they're probably gonna go get noodles or something <laughs> when they wake up because they really like the noodles. Yeah, like a lot. Yeah, I don't blame you. Those are they're really good. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, I've got to go in the sewers, huh? Mm. Yeah. But, hey, it'll, it'll be a good story. I'll be good because, you know, yeah. I'm not usually the one that gets real hurt. <clears throat> well, that's good. Make sure you come back in one piece. Well, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Sport just is, like, blushing. <laughs> it's, like, starts to get up and, you know, like, starts to make their way around picking stuff up and getting redressed is just kind of happy like in sports head it's just raindrops keep falling on my <laughs> like sport is just like in happy little la la land like goes about eating like a little snack whatever and then like you know gets like gives bolt some of whatever like because sports not thinking dogs should probably not eat what people eat it, it's like, some, it's she would uh rustle like, rustle you up some blanco mac and cheese and some iguana on a stick. Yeah, you like know, we're we're the... giving like bolts getting table scraps, just like as as sports doing it though. It's just like wait, don't tell stud, I did that. Um, she's like giving the dog macaroni and cheese. His one of his eyes is just blinking like a recording yeah. blinking. It's fine. Um, and then like <laughs> just, I'm kidding. You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> Like, oh, God. Um, but then we'll, like, you know, starts to gather everything up and, like, kind of, like, takes Piper's hand as he's walking through the door. All right, well, I'm going to go round them up because God knows what they're going to get into if I don't yeah. get over there. Yeah. Maggie likes to slap people. Yeah, luckily, I normally would hear if uh, the city guard was called to the dugout and I can usually hear them running past. And I don't, well, I didn't hear much of anything outside these four walls last night but yeah that was kind of your fault i'm pretty sure we would have heard if there was a another fight breaking out um that way so probably i bet they didn't get into too much trouble without you no probably not but uh like quick like kiss on the cheek and is like all right, all right i'll just see you when we get back yeah like starts like running that way because like realizes how bright it is outside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then like kind of slows down to a jog and then a walk and stops and turns it bolt you didn't watch that did you dude like looking at the dog mm -hmm. she's just like turn, like turning like looking around and then starts chasing his tail like <laughs> all, all right cool uh, and just starts going towards the dugout in uh, but again, the whole time it's just like happy music. It's like sport is just grinning ear to ear, super carefree, just like. Uh, as you as you're making your way there, you turn, and on some old, rusted, uh, uh, fencing that's kind of like making like a, like a trellis over Piper's house. Well, if you can call it a house, her little shanty. And you do you do see some birds, just watching. Um, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> you are making your way, uh, to the dugout inn, and, uh, that's about the time that the three of you 
come out. Um, as you see, Sport was not Sport and uh, Bolt were not in the restaurant of the dugout in the bar area. Um, and the uh, bo the Bobrov brothers did not. They hadn't seen Sport, so uh, so they definitely didn't come back to the dugout in. But as you make your way outside, you see Sport just like. Hustling down, hustling down, and the then way. like slowing down to like a slow jog, and then a walk, and is just like the happiest little like. Wait, is Bolt um like right next to them? Mm -hmm. oh. Hey guys, see, see, look, I told you that uh, Sport was just walking, Bolt. Oof. You know, it's stud waddles, push, push, pushing Oof. some Oof. random woman in her face. Just, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Folks, <laughs> I was so worried. And turns over to <laughs> sport. He just looks happy. The like dog completely happy. Just like. <laughs> mm. I almost thought for certain that you were actually a self admitted communist spy and ran off with my dog. And I was about to put a $5,000, $5,000 oh, cap bounty on your head. But you know what? That worked out. Everything also, fell. sports buttons are like mismatched. Mm -hmm. I was just saying that you know you probably just got up to um, you know make sure that uh, Bolt got relieved. You know, um, someone you know, got me exercise too. That's correct. Well, you give us quite the counterfeit. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you, here you are. It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, oh, that's Lord. what that's what we were doing. We were what we're what. Uh, me and Bolt were just, Bolt needed the oh, relief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, mystery solved. All right. So, um, what we're heading out for, uh, for the thing, okay. for, the, for our mission. Um, we need to go pick up our, or y'all need to go pick up your special upgraded weapon thingy, Bobbies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, so your your weapons would be uh, ready just a little bit later, um, but you're welcome if you needed to do any other shopping or anything else before you you head out, or you can just you know kind of mill about and just take in the areas of Diamond City that you haven't seen yet. Um, but we, we got <laughs> who who kept track of like the number of stim packs and all the stuff we got. I, I kept up with the cap count of how much we spent. That's what I kept up with. And, they, and everybody good. individually bought, like, stuff. Yeah. I think individually everyone got something. Yeah. Because um, we really I, did... I know I upgraded my uh, weapon. Um, you bought, like, two, believe... two or four. I think it was an even number of stem packs. Yeah. yeah. I'll take two and make... Well, wait, we could probably put like two on Maggie, one on me, and then one on uh, on Rob too, so that we can all have <laughs> like just in cases. Mm -hmm. Do you have a robot Wait. repair kit? I nope. I just have the tools. Okay, we need a robot repair kit before we go, just in case. Oh something yeah. Happens to stud. Um, wait, we have uh, we had baseball. <laughs> Baseball grenades and a couple of Molotovs. Mm -hmm. I forgot how many Molotovs. I did not update that. So I think that it was only like two. Of, I think it was only two Molotovs. Two of each, right? Just two. Okay. Um. Uh, but yeah, we should probably get a robot repair kit. It's like all of a sudden, Sport will like look down, see their buttons are wrong, and start fixing the buttons. Yeah, I'll I'll tell you. Uh, Maggie did not notice anything about the buttons. Like Maggie was just like, see, like she was just like she she knew exactly where you were in her mind. Yeah, she didn't even question and didn't even look at your appearance. Just like like see, I told you she didn't. They didn't abandon us. Like what are you talking about? Uh, robot repair kits run about forty eight caps. Holy shnikes! You know what? No, and it's the same. It's it's the same healing that a stim pack would give a fleshy. So. Oh jeez. Yeah. Okay. So it's basically the equivalent of a stim pack for a robot. But if I have tools and repair things, 
I just have to spend the time to do it. It's just not instantaneous, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know what, gang? Is, honestly, y'all do your job. I'll stay in the back for more support. All right. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Also, I'm <laughs> instead <laughs> waves around this plasma rifle. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty surgical with these bad boys. Uh, I, I, you know, roll. I don't want to get into it today, but yeah, pretty cool movie. You missed it. Okay. It was awesome. Uh, yeah. Honestly, okay. if you honestly, if you uh, you have a little bit of time before your items are ready, if anybody wanted to do some settlement tasks to try to get some uh, extra caps or anything to buy one yeah. or anything else, you don't have to obviously, but yeah. you have some time. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little tired, but if y'all want, we could, like, me and Robert, we can try to do some repairs on some of the people's houses or something. Is there, is there a way to go around and boost morale for Diamond City? Yeah, by, yeah actually, um, that's for the settlement tasks actually can help improve your, um, your standing with the city as well, the, or the settlement that you're in. Um, so, and so something that you would be, uh, good at, let me go to page 40, settlement tasks. Okay. So like I said, uh, for settlement tasks on page 40 of Winter of Adam handbook, or the Winter of Adam book is construction work, which is strength, town militia, which is perception, courier, which is endurance, merchant assistant, charisma, science assistant, intelligence, supply runner is agility, and gambler, luck. So the merchant's assistant, um, you basically just spend time working in a shop or aiding a merchant. You, you're, uh, you can, it's like basically you're managing the register, taking inventory, or serving customers. Oh, Takahashi, maybe? Oh, heck yeah. Let's, let's party up with him. That All could right. be fun. Cool. All right. So, uh, okay, so you want to do, so you're going to be helping uh, with the noodles. Is anybody else helping with that too, or did you, did anybody else want to do anything else? Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, the the uh, the store. Um, give me our our new friend's uh, name again. Okay. Uh, per owner. Percy and uh, Myrna. Myrna. Uh, so so okay. Maggie is gonna go and uh, see if Myrna mm -hmm. uh, needs some assistance. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Over at the shop, you know, just just out there, you know, trying to explain that, you know, the quality of goods, you know, that's the reason why we don't have the discounts. But let me tell you something, you will never find anything of greater quality than here at good old Myrna and Percy's shop. And then that's it. Yeah, that's Maggie just going to be like helping to like facilitate people coming in. Um, talking about all that hash and all of the, uh, the awesome good stuff that is in, yeah. in the shop. She, she really enjoyed, she really liked you uh, in chatting with you and stuff. So she would definitely, um, yeah, she would bring you on uh, to let you help for the day, especially knowing that you're about to, you know, venture into the sewers and whatnot and try to help open trade routes. So, yeah, she's, she's willing to, to do that. And uh, Robin Sport, do you have anything that you'd like to do? You want to do some more repairs? Uh, Overseer, you mentioned yeah. a science assistant of some sort. Mm -hmm. So a science assistant. So we do have a chem eye care run by Sol Solomon. And he's the doctor. Uh, so he's got chems. He really needs some Radex and some Radaway. Like that's his like super needs. Uh, but for science assistant, you can, uh, so stem packs, chems, and old world technology are vital to survival in the wasteland. You spend the day assisting a local expert in replenishing their stock or working on one of their um, total, uh, totally safe experiments. So, yeah. Totally safe experiment. Totally safe experiment. Perfect. You, you go for it, Rob. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So you're going to, so you're going to Chem Eye Care. Um, and sport. I'm just going to be walking around, help, like, in all honesty, like, just doing random repairs on people's houses, checking okay. on maintenance that sport had done before, and using a stick to draw in, in little hearts in the, the dirt. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, okay. We're then... distracted. Like, sport is notably distracted from, like, the usual, like, let's get things done, and is just kind of, like, spacey. Cool. 
Okay. I'm going to, how about, okay, so for the construction work, uh, we'll start with you then. Um, so helping you, you, helping go around and, and helping fix things and whatnot, we'll say, um, so strength and what else? What other skill would you be using? Uh, repair if possible. Okay, we'll give you, um, I mean, we'll give you, well, how about we do this? We'll give each of you uh, a difficulty of one for your, for your tasks, since you're all doing, none of y'all are working together. Um, and this town, y'all helped them a lot, so, um, so nothing's, yeah, so we're just going to give y'all a difficulty of one, so strength and repair. So go ahead, uh, and let's see what your roll is. You got two successes! Perfect. Um, were y'all full on AP already? Um, mm -hmm. since it is this technically a new scene, right? So... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's because y'all slept, so, yeah, you're full AP. Cool. Um, cool. all right, so, yeah, they would give you, you'd be paid, uh, we'll say 25 caps. And if, each of you, if you do succeed on your roll, you will be paid 25 caps for your half day labor, basically, since y'all are going to be picking up your stuff and leaving soon. Um, let's go down to next would be merchant assistant. So we'll start, uh, I'm just going down the list. Uh, so merchant assistant, so charisma. So uh, Maggie, um, so your charisma and what would you be using to help at the shop? Um, I think speech. Okay. Um, because I'm I'm kind of um, the person who's not not there's there, we're not handing out flyers per se, but uh, like the sign twirler. The mouth. <laughs> if, I, yeah, I, if those, there was one, so cool. sure. But I think Maggie is doing more of what she does best, which is just talking to the people. I love it. Okay, she's so very she's very persuasive. <laughs> I love it. All right. She tries to be at least. Cool. Okay. Difficulty one. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Y'all getting all the good rolls out of the way before you go in the sewers. <laughs> well, More successes. These rolls aren't life and death when they're life and oh, death. And that's when is that roll like twenty three is its ugly points? head. That, it would, yeah, yeah. You get two action points. It would have been four. Or you could or, I mean, it would have been three action points. Because you can create truths, right? Like you can do some stuff, right? Like do some things. Yeah, you could spend it on. Um, you got. I mean, that's like what um, that puts us at eight tech. Wait. Well, you can't you can't go above your max, okay. but if you ha if you gain them right during your turn, I have said that you can use them, uh, use them before you lose them if you're using them on your turn. So okay, because that because that would put us at seven. Yeah. Uh, so, but you can't go above your your max, which yeah, is yeah, which is six. Yeah. What is it six? Mm -hmm. Um. So uh. Okay. Now let me know if I can use um, uh, make a truth in the sense that, um. Myrna just so happens to have a robot repair kit, an extra one that was meant for Percy, but Percy's doing all right right now. And and uh, since Stud and Percy are like besties now, um, I just kind of feel like Myrna's like, oh, this is for your buddy, Stud, Stud Muffin. Um, we're gonna just give that to 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 them. Uh, just you know, for for your uh, for your journey saving the city. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit with those four successes. It's fine. I'm like, I'm yeah, with the, my butt. Yeah, no, 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 I love that. So yeah, with those four successes, I will say, um, and spending 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 those, I would say that Percy would approach you very okay. eager to make sure that Stud makes okay. good on this deal to being his wingman when he heads to Big Top later. Um, so he'd be, he'd be like, I, he'd be, I uh, know that you're going down to the sewers later um, with uh, That's Sir Percy, mm -hmm. or Sir Percy, Sir, uh, Sir Stud, and I want to make sure he gets back in one piece so that we may travel together to Big Top and I may woo the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. So, um, please accept this gift uh, to, to Sir Stud, and um, I pray that you will make it back in one piece, especially him. No offense. No, but then he gives, he gives you this robot repair kit. No, I'm taking, um, uh, I'm sure, um, uh, I mean, Stud is definitely a master at all things concerning the heart and um, is very suave and debonair. So um, I'm pretty sure that you will be in good hands as far as that whole love connection is uh. concerned. So, uh, well, that is if we make it out on the other side, which I hope we do. Yes, and hopefully this will aid you in that 
coming out on the other side, and then back here again for us to go together sometime. Yes. Thank you kindly. Yes. No, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so yes, you are up a robot repair kit, and you're still making money, so that's great. So you also get the, the 25 caps on top of that. Uh, the Myrna would pay you. All right, going over then to still on the merchant assistant, Charisma. So you're working off the noodle stand. Yes. Which is, um, yeah. I think the way we're going about this is Stud is telling Takahashi, he's like, hey, you know, you could really be up in the price of these noodles with a little giveaway. What you do is you lie to everyone and tell them if they find a golden noodle in here that they win like a year supply of noodles, right? But the thing is, you don't put a golden noodle in it. And you increase the prices of these noodles to make people want it. Okay? Not That's the approach okay. we're going for. That's it. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, she's sick. Damn, okay, boy. Okay, so for those of you not watching, that, that's, a, that's a nat 20 and a 15. So oh, that's a complication. Right. You want to let it go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Oh, so you wow. say this, you say this, and uh, <laughs> Takahashi's his his uh, he, his lights start glowing red at you, and he uh, Nanishima Shoka, <laughs> uh, yeah, Nanishima Shoka, and he like points with his arm to get out from behind his noodle stand. Uh, and um, the sign that previously see, that said help wanted with his other claw, he turns it around and it says just open and not help wanted. It's just open. <laughs> He's just pointing with one claw and glowing bright, bright red and like furiously saying his iconic one line at you. All right. Well, guess what? Uh, and he's going to flip one of these balls on the way out. He's like, you are my sworn enemy now. Oh you, you had a chance. You had a damn chance, man, to make killer money. Mm. <laughs> Just... Not in Moshaka ka ka and he spins his butt <laughs> and he walks off. He uh he picks uh he picks up the broken pieces of the bowl and he like throws them at your back. Obviously not doing any damage, but he's pissed <laughs> yeah. off at you. It was already Bolt. broken. Yeah, just ah, Bolt. They don't appreciate our genius. Here. <laughs> Someone else will get it. It worked for Wonka. I don't get what the hell. No. <laughs> his noodles are his craft, and you trying to obviously that's what the sense you get. The noodles are his craft, and he didn't want you messing with his craft with and the flavor. Noodles. Yes, those are his noodles. It's like oh yeah, from the what was it? Uh, the Dragon Warrior, pup, no. uh, the Kung Fu Panda. The noodles are alive. added nothing to it. <laughs> and now I will add him as my sworn oh, enemy God. in my bio. Oh, this is great. <sighs> just going to take over the new shop business just to spite him. Yeah. We're going to open up a hot dog stand right across from him. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so you get no no caps, but you can go around. I and... have lots of questions, but we're gonna just continue going. <laughs> wow. We'll huh? say we'll say that okay. some of these shops are not like directly to where anybody can see it, that any of this has happened um, to disturb y'all. <laughs> what y'all got going on so far? Let's see how Rob does um, with, at uh, can, can I care? Uh, so the shop owner is Solomon. I don't think you've met Solomon yet, but Solomon's very messy. He's got this lab coat on. He's very messy, very messy hair. Um, and, uh, he's thick, you know, glass talking to himself. And, um, so yeah, when you go in and you're like, uh, uh, you go in and he's just like, can I help you? I believe you. I believe you may need some assistance. I have a little bit of background in science and was wondering if I could help you with, well, whatever it is you do here. Absolutely, get in here. Um, he like, he thinks about it. He pauses and looks at you up and down for a minute and thinks about it. And he's like, absolutely, please. I need all the help I can get. I am down uh, on, um, on so many things right now. There are so many uh, people coming in looking for supplies and, um, uh, you know, it's just getting really horrible out there with this nuclear winter, and I can need—I need all the help I can get, especially with those those winter those um those um uh, they they left, but they kept poisoning people, or at least that's what I heard. And people were, were needing all the radix and the radaway, and it was just awful. 
Are you talking about the children of Adam? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I, I heard that the word on the street was that they were poisoning everybody. But they didn't view it as poisoning. They were crazy. Uh, I will say that uh, the decisions were made. Thankfully, they are no longer affecting this area now. Uh. And the... The general populace is no longer poisoned. We've also fixed the water, the water purification systems here, so oh, that should thanks. aid in our support. Oh, good. I can finally take a break uh, once I get caught up on restocking the supply that I do need with the, all the, the Radaway and the Radex, because people still will need it, but oh, I've been going through that stuff like crazy. Indeed. Well, I have a little bit of time. What can I assist you with? You mentioned restocking and what else is what else happens here? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I've got, uh, I've got, you know, a few Kens, all the legal ones, and some of the slightly legal, more not frowned upon ones, and um, you know, stem packs and whatnot like that. I even have a, uh, this, um, the the diffuser. Uh, which is very, it's very popular for people that are um, usually out there. Which I've heard your group, you're part of that group that's going going down in the sewers, right? Ah, yes, in indeed. I, I also was wondering. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have anything else that would you think you would aid us in our in our mission down there, would you? Oh well, like I said, that place is probably it's probably very very irradiated. Since no really nobody's really been down there, nobody knows what is down there. But I've heard, I've heard if you go down there, you need to be you need to take protection, and it's very dark, so light as well, unless you can see. You got like light eyes, but you look like you're the kind of person that doesn't have eye light, flashlight eyes. So that's I, good. I don't believe I have any sort of vision in the dark. I I, I am just a regular being, so uh, dark vision is not something I uh, am attuned to. Well, Flashlights may help. Well, how about this? Um, if you can help me uh, bottle up uh, and package all the rest of this uh, the stuff that I've been brewing in my chemistry set. I'll give you something I've been working on that's really special, and it might be able to help you, especially if you're going down there. It can heal multiple people all at the same time. It's kind of like a stem pack, but it's like, uh, have you heard of these things? A uh, hookah? A uh, hookah? Yeah, it like, it like, it's got this pipe, and then, but also, it's like a, it like floats through the air to everybody around it gets some of it, instead of a, the, the pipe thing. Interesting. My interest is definitely peaked. I will do whatever I can to assist and procure this hookah. Perfect. It's actually called a stim pack diffuser, but I'm working on the name. I want something more with a little bit more pizzazz, but stim pack diffuser, eh, close enough. Stim, yes. stim pack diffuser, right. Well, yeah. show me what I need to do and I will do it. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, please make your roll. So you are going to be rolling then for science. Uh, it's intelligence, and what skill do you think you'd be using to help with this? Uh, if I'm restocking, mm -hmm. I mean, I figured science would be the best. Cause I, mm -hmm. Would that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, so intelligence and science. Oh, my God! Mm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you, you, you're going to try to... How many, how many action points is it to re-roll one? Uh, just one. Or well, you can uh, use luck to re-roll a d20 if you I, like. You can use your luck I points. Will, I will use a luck to roll one d20. Okay. Ah, okay Difficulty's only one. I, 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 I know. Wow. I can't believe it. I never missed that. Oh, God! <laughs> For those of you watching, uh, not watching, but listening, that's a nat 20 on that, uh, and you can't re-roll that? Oh, well, gosh. Fucking thug life. <laughs> okay. So, oh no. You know, 50-50 success ain't bad. You could. Y'all took our successes, actually. <laughs> I just want y'all to know. Yeah. You, uh, uh, some of us listen, are just Maggie can't right help. Now. I don't know that, what to tell Maggie you. got the, uh, the riz that, I guess, jumped off a sport. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I would, uh, I would like to remind you, there is a way that you can get rid of this. Nat 20, if you like, you could succeed at a cost. Or you could just, uh... Yeah, that gives April shit it. to kill us with later. Remember what happened last time y'all used it? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I mean, last time you blew up a dog. Uh -huh. Yeah, what about that? 
I'm gonna you eat succeeded, the though. <laughs> I'm going to eat the nat 20. It's narrative. Oh, all right, here we go then. <laughs> all right, so you, you, oh God. you you're working on, um, so he has this chemistry station all set out and he is um, brewing up um, the alchemicals to make the Rad X and the Rad Away and he's got the supplies for you to uh, be able to uh, resupply it and uh, bottle it and everything that it needs to. And um, you, uh, you start, you start like just like daydreaming, and you start thinking about why. Why birds? Why were those birds watching you? That it's like on, yeah, it's, it's been on your mind. You're like, they're just birds, but also it's like been twitching at your brain. Like, are they just birds? They are just, like you're having this internal struggle with yourself. Um, I, I would imagine that while I'm trying to help refill chemicals and everything, those thoughts start creeping into my, into my head. Mm -hmm. And as they're creeping into my head, suddenly, one concoction i poured a little too much and then i'm gonna try to counteract it i'm gonna try to pour more to try to double it so that it balances but then the concoctions are not equal and it's just becoming this whole thing and then all of a sudden all of a sudden oh 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 no oh no i'm i'm, I'm sorry I, i'm 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 I've poured too much. I need another bottle and next thing you know rob's arm swings and hits part of the chemistry set breaking the, and we know what? rob is certainly strong and so it it would it damage the chemistry set? Yes, it completely. So this is exactly what I have in mind. So you're thinking about this, and then you're like thinking about that, and then um, you hear one of the birds outside uh, with this open area, this open like door area. Uh, you hear one of the birds like, ah! uh, and it freaks you out, and you swing uh, as you're like pouring and messing up, and then you s you swing around to see it, uh, and yeah, your arm just completely knocks over this chemistry set, and you ruin his entire batch and some of his chemistry set. And he's like, what, 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 what have you done? My, I, do you know how many hours, how many days I've been working on this? Oh, and now my set is broken. Do you know how much this, oh, I'm not gonna be able to find the parts I need to fix this. I, please, just, just before you, before you mess anything else up, please just get out, out, please out oh how am i gonna fix this what am i gonna do people need these things oh and he's like did, freaking did, out did, did i do that did you I do that you, yeah I, there's nobody else here how could it have not have been you out I, I, it's like you shouting at I, you I, I i don't have to take this i'm leaving and <laughs> there rob finally just turns straightens up and just walks out and he's just like He's like, he's like starting to sob and pick up the broken pieces of his chemistry set. He's just, <laughs> what am I going to, I'm ruined. Oh, what am I going to do? People need Rob, these. As Rob leaves and closes whatever doors there, mm -hmm. then he, can, can I come back in through the door and just be, would you like some repairs? I do do some repair work around here. My, my friend Sports and I have done some fantastic uh, masonry work with the buildings around. I'm sure we could figure out how to fix this set for you. If you want to make this right, you'll find me a new set. Out! <laughs> and thus Rob turns and exits out. New chemistry sets, indeed. Mm -hmm. I'll find one. So that, that is his price, that he is not paying you today. And you missed out on the diffuser, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, so you can, uh, you know, you're going to get sidetracked side -tracked by bullshit every time. So uh, chemistry set is one of your sidetracks. Uh, so, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Um, so <laughs> You would just see sport, like, as you're coming out of there, sports just kind of like, meandering about like fixing stuff a little bit looks happy it, uh, sport sports one question for you as rob approaches yeah uh, yeah do you know where i could find a chemistry set probably like in a chemistry lab uh, about that and <laughs> rob turns to where the, the lab was 
see, I, I, I believe I have, uh, I, I may have, mm, yes. You can just hear crying from the inside. Just broken glass, like, falling on the floor. I told you you should have come fixed houses with me, <laughs> I, I thought it would be wise to stretch my mind as well. And the mind is muscle, and uh, you were right. That, that's fair. I will Muscles. Just, yes, yes, indeed. I will follow your lead next time. Ah! Speaking of which, uh, where did you disappear off to last night, if I may inquire? <laughs> oh, Don't tell Stud. Okay. Don't tell Stud what? Uh, so, the dog followed me last night, but I went back to... I, I stayed at Piper's. You stayed at Piper's? Yeah. Uh, and... Have you ever... You know... <laughs> have I ever... Like, your books? My, my, uh, the I, one that you got. Wait, 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 and, and Rob searches. Wait, wait, you, you mean, and then it's starting to dawn on, on Rob. You, you were, you, 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 you were, you were coupling. Yeah. I had never done it before, but I think I did all right. Fascinating. Once we are out of, the, once we are out of the, wow, is it is it at all like what they explain in here? I, I'm, this yeah. knowledge, it, it's it, so this is this is true. This is this is absolutely what it. it oh, it's really great. You should definitely try it sometime. Oh, I shall hope to try it sometime. It's, oh, uh, of course, I I must find a chemistry set first before I even try, but. You I'll don't have that... to use a chemistry set for that. You just I, I of, don't? Not for that part. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I shall have to... Well, I shall make it upon my list to another thing to succeed at later. But first, I must find the chemistry set. And Well, unfortunately, I, I am the bearer of bad news. I, uh, I did not get paid for my task, so we are a little short-handed here. I did. I, I got paid 25 Oh, well, so, I'll very... I can throw some at you if you want or need them. Oh, and... I'm, I'm quite all right right now. It was just to earn a little extra, but... Ah, also, that it. one and sport points at one of the pages. Yeah, uh, wait, wait. Yeah. I saw <gasps> that the other day. I don't, it was her idea. Uh, Mine too. Ah, uh, well. The dog didn't watch, though. It's okay. Uh, well, I, I, uh, wow, that I, that would be quite the he audience. Starts, starts walking. You hear ka thunk, ka thunk, ka thunk as uh, Stud. You can see all of a sudden Stud also is not where Stud said they would be with the noodles, and seems uh, to be done early. What? Uh, you all right, buddy? How about noodles? You have a noodle on. You know, uh, 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 here's what I'm thinking, right? So, he runs the stand 24 7. People are sick of this. Aren't it's a, you? Just a ballpark. And where, how about some ballpark trainings? That's what we used so, to eat for lunch. So, you understand where I'm coming from. Listen. Yeah. If we get some rad roaches down in those sewers, we could take the meat right out of them, put, put them in some uh, sausage. We could. Make our own ballpark franks. You want to eat roaches, though? But I'm not going to eat them. What are you talking about? Well, I know, but wouldn't you want to do, like, the beef franks are where it's at, right? So you want to do, like, are ramen, right? Are you suggesting? Right? Yes! Are you? Listen, I don't know, but this could be the beginning of a great entrepreneurship. If we can get our hands on, like, a whole, I don't know, Brahmin farm, we can mass produce these bad boys. What, uh, on that note, what w pulls the noodle off the side of, like, Stud's head? What happened? Bolt, Bolt eats the noodle, tries to, like, get the noodle from your hand. 
like hands it down like <laughs> instinctually like Bolt is used to taking people food from stores. <laughs> you want to know what happened? People are limited to their programming. Simple as. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> um, Sport will like hit Rob's arm and like try to make Rob put the book away. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just doing a bit, of, a bit of research and, again, trying to learn. Uh, what the heck? What? Wait. So I was going to snatch the book. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Wait, what? what, what you, you, all you had to do was... God, to, Lord! <laughs> this is so far from Christian. What, what, is is that? That? what does that mean? Who is Christian? Yeah, I don't know that guy. No, you don't know him? No. Well, he wouldn't like this, I'll tell you that much. Look at that. Well, then he's just wrong. And Seth's going to point to one. He's like, this is for experienced bots only. A couple people, like, they were walking down the street, kind of stopped, and they're like... Oh, don't act like you. Rubbernecking, yeah, like, like, watch it, like, yeah. Sport just yeah. elbows Rob uh, and, like, uh, smirks. Uh, uh, Rob's gonna look at a tagline, uh, not Christian, coming in the name of God. Ah, <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, why, why do you say experience? What happens if you do it and you're not experienced? Do you like die? Have you ever seen what happens whenever a Fisto unit gets stuck? Yeah. I'm not going to get into, into the details, but Rose budding, okay? We're going to get the hell out of here. What? I, it's like Sport now looks at Rob scared. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to learn here. This is a whole new world for me. I, I, Rob's going to take the magazine. All I know back. is I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't just jump into the deep end like this, okay? You got no, You got to work your way up. That's not what we did. You, you and Rob? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh. Listen, I okay, understand that y'all are up late at night. Y'all both have very lost memories. Don't seem to know who you are. You're discovering yourself. That is fine. No, man, that's not no, what happened. No, no. You don't need to explain No, because I was out. It, it's good. So listen, that's... we need to go get Maggie. My mind is unfortunately stuck on wieners, and this is just making it really difficult. <gasps> so I would like to try to think about the the Brahmin kind. All right, <laughs> come on, Bolt. Waddle, 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 waddle. Uh, I assume you're making your way trying to find, see where Maggie's at, um, or yeah. Uh, so the three of you, the three of you. Um, <laughs> Make your way down the street, uh, two of you having just completely struck out, but I'm bumped because you're in yeah, Diamond City, uh, your tasks, but, uh, you know, sport um, made, made, made a little bit of change, and you make your way down to uh, the surplus supply, and Maggie is just finishing up with her shift, getting paid, and Percy, you know, sliding her the, uh, the, um, robot repair kit and uh yeah so just finishing up all right i'll see y'all when we get back all right okay all right well, oh hey hey how's everything wait uh sport and oh. rob are probably wow. both at the back like they've seen something why are y'all looking <laughs> bewildered or whatever what, because, what's going on it's because i failed for the first time ever, I let them down. Hmm. What, 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 in what way? What happened? We were just supposed to be doing some little uh, things around the city, helping out and, and such. Th thank you for asking. And then Stud will turn around. Uh, no one in this group is allowed to talk to Takahashi anymore. Period. Flat out. Wait, but I, I, I thought we were um, okay with with. Oh, we were. His... We were. But then I told him to bite my shiny metal ass whenever he threw my idea down the dump. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's what so happened. What, huh? what, the, what was the idea? Why, why was it uh, causing such a ruckus over there? It was an opportunity to make a bunch of money for the foreseeable future. And he was like, eh, you know, he didn't really say it, but it was the vibe he was giving off, you know? He was like, well, fuck you, or beep you, and your stupid idea of putting a golden noodle in my noodles. Well, you know what? That just means that it was not meant for you to get into any type of business with someone who had a very negative uh, opinion of your ideas, and that would not be a good partnership. And some people just aren't entrepreneurs. You prepared it right here in Chapter 8 Damn of your biography. Straight. Man, uh, yeah. hi. The uh, autobiography, right there. Yes, right man. there. Look like still right there. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Is there like a little bit of noodle? <laughs> or like winces as they high five? <laughs> I don't know why noodle. Oh, he, he threw something at you. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think Rob said we need a chemistry set now. Is, yes, I uh, unfortunately. Wait, what, what did you do? Wait, you you yeah, you upset the the chemist? I uh, I. I I believe in my lack of experience, I may have d destroyed the, the chemistry set of, uh, uh, I need a new chemistry set to deliver yeah. at some point. Well, hold on real quick. Do you want to? Or me? It would be <laughs> correct to, to rectify All right. what has been done. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just gonna give the option, you know, if that guy did you dirty like that guy, she did me. But he don't have to do nothing. Okay. I, I can only say that he did. I was done no wrong, and okay. All right. in in retrospect, I did become a bit distracted, which I never get distracted. That's quite weird. A, a little birdie seemed to chirp, and that's strange. Why would I be? Why would I be distracted by a bird? But no matter, we'll have to find the chemistry set, but we have a more daunting task at hand, I believe. We must get to those sewers, is that correct? Oh, yeah. I had a good day. Speaking I, of... I, I had a very pleasant day myself. I'm so sorry that it uh, ended not in the, the, the best way for you two over here, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. In this <laughs> other chapter here, at the end of chapter eight, you mentioned something about sometimes... Um, you uh, have to report. There's like a, a better business bureau or something. Um, do we need to do that? Uh, make sure that we tell Miss Popper about Takahashi that there's some type of sanitary issues or something. Yeah, we should definitely oh, tell no. Piper that <laughs> there's been a problem. Yo. Well, the, As I mean, that's just not sanitary start. to be throwing stuff all around, especially if you put it back Heart in starts the walking. Alternatively. Nope, we're gone. Blackmail is very, very effective. But no, we will do it. That, that was a later chapter. I think that was chapter uh, thirteen. Well, add this to chapter whichever one it applies to. Capitalism, capitalism, capitalism. Okay, I'll make sure to do an addendum. I'll fix that. All right. Sports First, fund. We establish business. Find competitors. Make enough money to buy our competitors. Dissolve competitors. It's called. Right. Hostile takeover. Okay, let me get this down. Hold on. All right. Hostile anything. Hostile takeover. All right. Okay. Good work. Also, this is for you. And he rolls out the radiation suit. It's just flappy. Now, uh, is this necessary for me to to wear? Um, I mean, you know, uh, I am actually a, I enjoy um, you know a big basket and Adam's glow. Um, is, is well, I, you know, I, I think, uh, I, I personally, I think you could take it, absolutely, 100%, but, uh, sports kind of, you know, traumatize these days, and I don't know if, uh, seeing your face uh, potentially oh, okay. melt off would help them, you know. Oh, oh, you know, um, if, if it's, if it's a thing to be unified with the rest of the group, I'll make sure to wear it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, you know, for, for sport, I'll do it. All right. Are you, are you giving the rest of the group bears as well as they need <laughs> it? Wad waddle off. Yeah. I know. Like for real. Uh, and, 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 uh, and Seth's going to go, and guess what? I got one. 
Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, I got something for you too. And then uh, Maggie's going to basically <laughs> hand stud not only the repair kit, but like t putting on top of the repair kit all of the the uh, caps <laughs> that Maggie oh. got. So just, it's just like all the caps making noises on top of the, the kit. There we go, that's for you. Your Good friend brother. Percy is saying that you're going to be doing some matchmaking once we get through that sewer area. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, Dot is impossible to please, so, you know, if Percy could do it, yeah, whatever, we'll make it happen. All right. Hello. Uh, where's Spork? You would see Sport like, happily walking towards Piper's. <laughs> oh. Rob, put this on. Put this on. Put this on. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> oh, put, 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 putting it on. Yeah. Bolt, no, right now. bolt chase after sports. Stop it, please. <laughs> okay. okay. What? I thought you said we were telling Piper about noodles or something. Oh, no, no, no. What? No, that's, that's for later <laughs> us. That's like future us's problem. Hmm. Right now we're here. All right. Never mind. Hmm. Okay. Suspicious. Walks back. Okay, here, here's a radiation suit, friend. You need this. I don't know if that's your size. You might have to cut the pants off of that. I was about to say, like, hold it up and it's like high waters. <laughs> yeah, just flooded. <laughs> yeah, just cut, like, sport you just get... puts it on and it comes to, like, here. Oh, no. And then, like, little, like, just little, yeah. You, you know what? Uh, you got any duct tape? You got any, uh, oh, let me see some of that. Just wrap that around your wrist. And yeah, where the gloves go. And... Your ankles. <laughs> there you go. Good enough. Uh, we should get out. I don't want certain people to see me like this. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So I am going to. Stuff. <laughs> uh, the hazmat suit. Let's see. Does that replace... get the weapons the two from the from Myrna? And then, yes. So, or not Myrna. Uh, it was the other. Uh, Does that replace uh, armor stuff? Or terror. Um, it is not considered, let me double check, um, oh, is it considered an outfit? We need mods, we need mods, immediately, layered Carol. armor set. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need outfits. Uh, a hazmat suit is considered an outfit, and if you are wearing an outfit, um, there's arm blades, however, outfits cannot be worn. Okay, outfits cannot be worn in combination with armor. They are either too bulky, already include armor, or their benefits would be lost if combined with armor. So if you're putting on a hazmat suit, you would have to take off your armor. Or My your... question is mm -hmm. then what, um, I guess then uh, what is the benefit of a hazmat? It makes you immune to radiation, but you get no damage resistance, resistances to physical or energy. But it does cover your head, your arms, your legs, and your torso. So there's no armor to it? Nope. Just immunity to radiation, so. Um, sport will look at this. I don't wanna not have armor on my it's face. It's already like, it's like trying to like rip and you know that you yeah. have to return these. Like it's trying to like come part of the scenes as you're putting it on. So yeah, so sport just is like, it don't fit, man. It's all right. I mean, if it gets real bad, we'll send the people that are suited up in first, right? Hey. If your skin melts off, Make sure Rob puts you down gently, okay? Uh, that seems <laughs> fair. And unequipping all my armor because I'm putting on putting on a hazmat suit. It's great. I mean, because I mean, the ones you need it. So, so everybody has to do this, even though like some people might be smaller than others. No, it's up to you. See, it's up to you. If we could ever get our hands on a suit of power armor, this would be a problem of the past. Right? I mean, because technically I'm rocking some, some 
cuff clothing, which is not necessarily something that you couldn't put a hazmat suit over. It just says that it doesn't, you can't, it won't, you can't stack. Um, yeah, it specifically oh, says, say, okay. yeah, it specifically says um, outfits cannot be worn in combination with armor. Oh, wait, wait, it doesn't say clothing, though. Um, just missing an item. Like, yeah, however, the outfits can be worn in combination with armor. They, it doesn't say anything about clothing. clothing. So clothing is fine. Armor, no. So if you're wearing, okay. um, yeah, the casual clothing, harness, and military suits, um, heavy that. coat. I just got heavy coat and uh, tough clothing. Uh, and tough clothing. Tough clothing. Tough clothing is fine. And then the oh, heavy coat, coat is considered an outfit. So you'd have to take that off. Ah, uh, okay. Um, okay. And your heavy coat was one physical, one energy, and one radiation. Okay. I mean, so that's what the heavy coat gave you. And the um, tough clothing was one physical and one energy. On a side note, I didn't write down, I guess, what the robot helm, helmet does. For some reason. Robot helmet? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Hold on. Like, I wrote its rarity and stuff, but I didn't write the benefit. Oh, I gotta take off my hat? Oh. No. Your hat's good. I think. Okay. Yeah. It's just, yeah, armor. Well, yeah, because it doesn't count as armor. Um, I have a bit worried about my ability to aim my weaponry with this headpiece on. I shall have to try it, but we'll see how it works. Where did you get the robot? Oh, that might be We're from... We're still dying this tunnel. I'll have to... I think that the robot armor was from the... I don't have it pulled up, um, but I think it was from the Rusty... Or the mm -hmm. Rust Devils. I think that was from the Rust Devils, so I don't have it um, pulled up, and it'll mess up my, my overlay and stuff, so I'll have to look up that later, because I can't yeah. right now. Um, that works. I think... I want to say yeah. it was like... Two and two for like mm. physical and it was something like that that <laughs> I don't yeah. remember. That sounds good. But anyway, we'll save that for okay. now. Yeah. Um, I okay. know there was no radiation to anything, but it'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Okay, I adjusted everything. I'm also, to be honest, I'm more worried about the oh, Meyer Lurk problems that probably exist. Than radiation mm. or radioactive shrimpies in general. I don't know. What else, I, what else lives in I the I already pool? did that once. You think I would do that to you again? Yes. <laughs> no, you'd pull out radioactive shrimpies and more rad roaches and radioactive ghouls. I thought y'all wanted rad roaches. Then you can make the rad dogs. Mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't eating no roach. It's a hot dog. You will have to adapt. Um, no. Did you did you have questions about your armor, Rob? You good? I think I'm good. I okay. unequipped everything. I think all the values changed correctly. Okay. I mean, it still shows my left and right arms as like damage resistance four. So I'm wondering. That might be from your origin stuff. Okay. Got it. Maybe. Makes sense. Maybe. Maybe. The price of role play. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> I'll figure it out. What it? Yeah. Um, Let's get it. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So you're going to meet up with Bryce Tucker, who is the uh, leader of the um, Diamond City Minutemen. And uh, so yeah, you would have picked up your items, uh, paid for everything, checked everything, all of your mods and everything look great, tip top shape. Um, he would wish you good luck and everything, and then you'd meet up with Bryce. Bryce. Um, leader of the Minutemen, like I said, in Diamond City, he would lead you out to uh, where the sewers are, unless y'all needed to do anything else before you leave. Y'all ready? I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Bryce would just uh, say, like, see that some of y'all are wearing hazmat suits and like, um, uh, yeah, you're gonna need them. Um, because we've been, we've tried to go down there a few times and then just heard a lot of stuff and then we just came back up and I just can't, can't risk losing any of my men right now when everything's so, you know, 
how it is in Diamond City. We're needed there, so our ranks are already thin enough. So really appreciate you all going down there. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I've got to come back in one piece, so uh, let's. Uh, do we want to have a code word for like run like hell? You know, like if something uh, bad happens, we just run. I feel like just reading the general vibe of the room would kind of, you know, give that off. But if we yeah, need a but word, yeah, we could do of, that. We're kind of stubborn, though, you know? So, like, if when somebody sell, yells something, then we, we all book it. What if know? we yell something like, be back later, or something like that? That's, that's, that's really back. long. It's long? Uh, well, well, what if we yelled, well, be back later is long, but it, what if I shortened it to something like BBL? <laughs> I see what you did there. That does work. <gasps> oh, there you did it. You snuck it in. That was brilliant. If I could give you yeah. inspiration points, I would. <laughs> that and, was great. you know, that sounds like a good one for, like, you know, we'll, we'll just run. But then, like, you know, if it's like, hey, I'm going down, we'll just be like, hey, I'm eating butt or something. <laughs> and that, too. I just wanted, I, okay, so precursor for those watching or listening, I had really wanted to find a way to include eat butt into this, like uh, just that stupid ass phrase into this session. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's my gift. And it worked. And, and the BBL, like that was just <laughs> goals met. <laughs> and Ian quits. That's what that face is. Oh, that's great. This is, that uh, all's out. I love this. This is great. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, so you are traveling. Bryce is just like listening to y'all going, what the fuck? Um, but you, you make your way just south of Diamond City. Um, you're, you're still within Boston, uh, but um, there's this collapsed section of this road. You make your way, there's a collapsed section of this road um, near a red rocket. And there are four freezing, grumbling many members of the Minutemen that are guarding the entrance of this area where the sewer entrance is. Um, so as you approach with Bryce, you just see these guys out there with you know their rifles just kind of like huddled around their little campfire um, and their little makeshift shelter that they've made right over where this um, sewer system is as you approach. Hey, you found somebody finally to... Uh, Go down there, we heard. Y'all are the ones? Yeah. Hey, I uh, remember no, some of you. checking the place out, actually. We were just looking. Hey, I, you're the one. You threw me over table. I like you. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you don't get thrown over a table down there. We'll see what happens. There'll be no bending over tables down here. Yeah. Well, we're not quite sure what's down there, but uh, guess y'all are gonna find out. Best of luck to you. We'll be oh, up like here if you that. need us. What's, what is down there? Hold on. Pause. Huh? Hold on. Timeout, team. What yeah. is down there? No idea. Uh, we, we've gone down there. The radiation just starts, you know, just uh, eating away at our flesh, and we just uh, we haven't been able to venture. You know, we're already low on uh, Radway and stuff in town. Uh, Doc tries to make more, but it's just a slow process because everybody needed it. So, eh, we haven't been able to explore it down there much. But if y'all open it up, I heard it's going to be a great way to uh, get business back up and running. Sport takes the hat off and like clips it to their belt, puts on the robot helmet. That's cool. It's fancy. Holding hat. the big ass bat now that has like a saw blade embedded in it. So what's it like wearing the, the flesh of my brethren? Just curious. It feels a little weird. Alright, I'll keep that in mind next time we run around. Someone uh vaguely looks like you. <clears throat> okay, let's go. I mean it was a, they were wearing it. Yeah, armor. but I mean, it looked cool on them. Like that was their aesthetic. You, you look too nice. Look too nice. That's eh, okay though. I forgive you. 
I fed the dog. You did, and I'm proud of you. I thought I was doing all right. Yeah, I mean, Bolt's not offended, I don't think. Bolt, are you offended? Bolt burps. Ah, I think he's, I think Bolt's good. You know, <laughs> I feel like it's, there's a weird, iffy ground to it. You know, who knows? Maybe that robot was an asshole, had it coming. So, I mean, uh, that's that's what we can say is that, like maybe he he was like a like a really mean. Maybe he was a communist robot. You know, it does say made in China. There we go. That's all we needed to know. Any robot made in China needs to be dismantled. Let's go. Hey, look, they put a they put a hazmat suit on the dog. That's pretty cool. It is cool. Okay, keep, Thank you. Keep the court will go down first, I guess. All right. <laughs> you tank on that radiation, homie. Woo! All right. Um, yeah. So, what's your what's your descending order? I'm curious. Going down in this. Uh, down this I'll ladder. go first. Oh, oh. Okay. <clears throat> I, 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 perhaps I, I'll go right after after Sport. Okay. okay. So yeah. Sport, then Rob, then Maggie, then yes. Stud. Yep. Y'all are gonna let the big ass metal robot be on top of y'all. Going yeah, down this, down this. I'm just kidding. Well, if you like, I do. The robot just goes, boom, 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 and kills everybody, smushes y'all flat. I'm Sport just goes down just really fast, and then I'm just kidding. Just I, I, yeah, I'm just... If you like, I can function as a flashlight if necessary. It, and you will notice, like looking down down this hole, it's dark. It's very dark. So, um, Did you get any kind of glow sticks or anything, guys? We, uh, Sport will stop and turn to one of these guys. Whichever one of y'all has a glow stick or a flashlight, hand it over. Ah, <laughs> uh, flashlight, eh? You got one on you? Yeah. Cool. Had got it for batteries? a while. Yep. Hundred caps. How many of them are standing there? There are four of them plus Bryce. He was their leader. Turns to Bryce. So do you want us to go down there or do you? He, he turns to his guy and he's like. I'll give you like 25 caps. No problem. Deal, deal, deal. You can have it for 25, but. I'll give it back. Thank you. You want it back. Right. And if you die down there, then I guess we'll get it back someday. Um, so yeah, it's the 25 caps. He will give you the flashlight. On loaner? Yep. Yeah. Just like the hazmat suits. It's a Bring rental it flashlight. Uh, Rob uses guns, mm -hmm. right? I do, yes. Hands it to Rob. Oh. Well, you can... So now you have two sources of light. Stud wraps and it to your gun. Oh, I see what you've done there. Oh, nice. This, 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 this is good. And Rob just checks well, the weight on... It won't stick to my bat so good. That's fair. No worries. Do Perhaps I? then I should... Yeah, okay. you go first, yeah. I'll it follow is. you down. All right, then Rob is leading the charge. Okay. All right, so then as you head down, there is a slow, fat, freezing rain that falls as you lower yourselves beneath the broken concrete of Boston's streets and into the relative heat of the sewers. Chunks of masonry litter the ground between puddles of questionable liquid. The air is thick and surprisingly humid, and the steady sound of dripping water echoes around you. Ahead, a tunnel curves deeper into the darkness, marked with a large arrow on the floor in thick paint that glows green in the fading light. The tunnel is blocked just beyond the arrow, by heavy bars surrounding a thick steel door. Well then, is uh, I'm, I'm gonna go up to the door and try to, I guess, try to open it. All right. That at the ready, following Rob. Okay, so you can open the door with skill or force. Pick your poison, what are you trying to do? Mm. Let's be smart about this. Uh, can I at least 
jostle it to see if it will open without force. Sure. It's locked. It's locked. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, you know. Is there a lock on it? Yes, there is. Right. I would be smart about this, dude, because if we start making a bunch of noise, anything that is down here is going to come running. Hold on. Hold on. I am just the man. Pardon me. Can you hold bolt, please? Bink. Thank you. Tiny little hand. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna roll lockpick. You got lockpick. Okay, so you're going nice. to do And I do have the infiltrator perk. Oh perfect. So, yes. um, so yeah, for the lockpick test, it's agility or perception plus your lockpick with a difficulty of two. If anybody would like to assist, you're more than welcome to. Rob, hold the flashlight. Rob is actually a step to the side and pointing the flashlight at the lock, but he's also got the, the gun pointed, so if something comes through that door, it gonna get shot. Perfect. Okay, so you can assist uh, using uh, skills that you think would be appropriate with your lighting up the door and helping uh, vision-wise. You're holding the flashlight for Dad. Oh. Totally hold the flashlight. Oh, oh, wait, just a little lower. Hold there it, it still. Is. A little to the left. God damn it. Uh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Infiltrator perk lets me reroll one. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Give me, give me that. Give me, give me, give me. Roll your, roll your assist, Rob. Roll can I, if I'm, if I'm trying to make sure I have the right angle, can what? I, can I roll it as intelligence science? Yes, because you are like perfectly, I would say yes, because I would say that you are perfectly angling it to optimize his viewing of the lock for the ultimate, yes. Anything. Oh. Come on! What the heck is I'm, happening? I'm burning, can I burn a luck to reroll that one? You can, yeah. I'm burning it So another far, luck. they have what? all zeros. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to burn a luck now too, because I was like, infiltrator kicked in, did not work. Oh. This is where I'm at. What? <laughs> Nat 20! What the hell is happening to me? What? Nat 20! You what can't reroll that because you already okay, rolled that. Okay, okay. Um, Maggie sees what's happening. Uh, oh, right. that's hold, great. Hold on. You know, I, I didn't think things would come to this. But <laughs> in this situation, great. I think that I'm going to have to put it to use. So Maggie is going to take her cane that has different scrap metal, mm -hmm. and she's going to break, break it like basically break pieces off in mm -hmm. order to use that as um, like, you know, basically something to jiggle that lock. So using some rusted uh, metal that was twisted into that shape of the atom. Okay. She's gonna try to see okay. if Maggie can turn the tides. Unfortunately, there was a nat 20. So the complication is the difficulty <laughs> has now been increased by two more. All right. The difficulty we're, we're is four. But can, we're going to add to, I'm going to add, because um, mm -hmm. in order to, mm -hmm. it's, it, I can add, uh, what is it, uh, one, one e, three AP point to add two to dice. Two. Yeah. To, uh, three. Spend three I luck use, points. I will yeah. use three. To, to uh, add three, uh, to roll points, four. Three action points, I think. Yes. Right? Uh, three, three action points to roll four dice total instead of two. I'm going to do that. Okay. That's my tag skill. Sport, are you helping at all? Or are you just. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I, Thanks, I Roll20. As, okay, as they're working on this, Sport is going to try to finagle with it a little bit using my intelligence repair. Because. Whoa. You just need one more. You just need one more. That was three successes. Come on, Sport. Sport just sees them like absolutely royally Thank bonded. you, Adam. Oh. We're doing that again. Uh, I'm just saying, luck points. Look, look, look. Hey! Yes. Okay. Or just walks up and is like, it's righty-tighty, man. Oh, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Maggie and Sport are consistently getting, getting successes, right? Maggie and Sport are the only... Yeah, y'all need to let Maggie and Sport do the, everything the rest everything of the session. Else, yeah. Because oh, yeah, the two of y'all are nat 20 magnets right now. Wow. I'm... <laughs> oh, this is great. So, <laughs> um... Yes, so you were able to get four successes with spending some luck, uh, although there was a complication that made this difficult, the difficulty higher. Um, but yeah, you were able to get in there, Maggie, and click the click click over the lock, and you are able to open 
this gate and um uh, no, you didn't get any back from because it was the difficulty was a four and y'all got four, so. Oh, okay, Co copy that. Yeah, copy so that. so yeah, so you're still down three action points then. Um, okay. Yeah. That. So. Well, uh, hey guys, that was a lot more energy. Uh, let's take a deep breath and. Uh, you already know what, what I'm real stupid about this. We probably could have asked one of them for the key. Uh, um. Uh, I'm gonna throw him over a table. Who? Oh, that guy up there? Oh, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. But um, anyways, we should probably formulate a good plan. I think quiet's probably, right? Stealthy, as best we can. <laughs> Unless we just wanna get all the, all everything out the way and just have <laughs> everything coming at us so then we can just. Well, you know, that, that's, I mean, within reason, it. like, just not storming in all. Ah. You know what I mean? I mean, it might make things easier because then if we just get done and over with and you know, make it to the other side a lot quicker. Um, you know, I, I mean, there are different ways to look at it, uh, you know, different strategies. That's true. If we call them by accident, I guess we could hide behind the door. All right. Well, who's going first? I'll go ahead and go first then. Right behind you. And Rob is going through the door. Rifle pointed out with the light. Okay. Back. Perfect. The passage turns and you find yourself at the top of a sharp descent. Wide slabs of stone form deep stairs plunging into the depths. Water flows steadily across them with ankle high eddies and swirls and whirls of gushing into the darkness. Here and there, trails of dust trickle down from the ceiling and water swirls around the masonry chunks that jut up from its murky surface. Striking metal is audible and rhythmic and dull in this uh, little passageway. A bright white light cascades through an archway at the bottom of the stairs. Well, that's probably not great, right? Uh, should I keep this light on? If I shine it in the wrong direction, it might it might alert whoever is around to our presence. More puppers. This, it's all the dog meats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would it. be dog meat because this would die in the wasteland. Vicious. Yeah, you would. You'd bite everybody. <laughs> it's always the little ones. Mm -hmm. Yep. I guess we're gonna keep approaching. Yeah. Yeah, I I think we I slowly keep that approach. Light on. Keep it on. Yeah, just be ready. Uh, Maggie, you might have, you know, oh. that your 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 assets <laughs> ready. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I already had it, and like Maggie's just like wielding her like uh, her now newly uh, decked out. Uh, her gamma gun she's like oh yeah i know i'm already ready for some action i mean that's what we came down here for that's what we need to do um let's get to it okay i have two questions for you um one you're, you're y'all are all just going straight uh y'all are going straight down these stairs does there appear to be a better like does there appear to be a pathway down that looks traveled you can go ahead and make a perception survival test if you'd like. I'm so good at those. Or anybody else that is trying to look I mean, for something I'm, like I'm, this. I mean, I'm definitely looking. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm going to see shit. And the difficulty is two, by the way. Perception survival, you said? Mm-hmm. That'd be smart. I'm in the front. There is water. Oh, you got one. I got one. All right. Holy crap! Okay. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that that sport you were assisting, um, but yeah. Rob is the one looking since Rob has the flashlight, so I'll give it to you. So you have two successes. You will also the other question is, does this stairway look safe? As in 
people, y'all are trying to make this safe from hazards to open this up as a way to um, oh, yeah. make goods. Does the stairway look safe to you or would you like to try to make it safer? Because that was one of the condition is to make, yeah. to make sure it's safe. I, w I would like to make sure that it's safer as I've been a handy man okay. alongside Rob. It's going to be done. Okay. We're like um, home improvement, yeah. but synthetic and teenagers with porn. Eh? <laughs> That's what's happened. I don't oh. know what to tell you guys. Oh, there's two pubescent dudes in the party. Yep, right. pretty much. <laughs> and we have the yeah, the experienced robot. We have and the, the, the cool. And we also. Have the, we have the cool sister and then the dad that's blissfully unaware of the pubescent <laughs> teenagers. We're just hammering things in. It's okay. I get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> hammering away. Right. Has all the wrong talks with him. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so uh, are we fixing the stairway then? Is that what I'm yeah. assuming? I would okay. like to. Okay, because there's a lot of water that you notice. This is very slick. Um, and <laughs> then it's full of water, so. Do we see like a pipeline, something that's dropping the water on it? So, um, I'm going to say, uh, um, okay, so you, uh, let's see, you notice that there is, um, there are Four overexposed, oh wait, no, 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 that's not that one. Ugh, I almost said something bad. Uh, I was almost read the wrong one. Um, so the water flowing down the stairs, um, you're noticing uh, all of the, uh, so everybody had, radia or specifically Maggie, did you have a radiation suit on? You did, right? Hazmat suit? Yes, yes. Okay, you're good. Maggie, this water, even though you have your radiation suit on, it feels warm. It's just like, mm, it feels like, if this water, you, you sense that it is nice water to you, specifically. Um, the water flowing down the stairs, obviously, is irradiated. Uh, you can, um, there's some water, uh, I mean, it's just like pouring down, so you could possibly build a dam or try to stop the flow. So it's just like pouring down from the, it's pouring down because of the uh, melting snow. Would, would it be uh, wiser for us to secure the area as in make sure there isn't anything present? You know, we could do a bit of both, you know, because like actually looking at this, I don't think because if it's coming from like melting snow and stuff, honestly, I think that's kind of a feat of engineering, if that makes sense. We have to have like a kind of a drainage system and if we're trying to build yeah. something and there's something that wants to kill us. Oh, okay. Let's do to do the teams. We're going to break up into teams. So since you are the smarts, uh, you and Rob do a lot of the, the, the building and the, the, the science type things. Maybe you do that and then, uh, you know, uh, stud, if you don't mind, you can assist me with some shooting if necessary. Um, hey, hey Rob. You, you actually let's let's do it this way, Rob. If you want to start, you no, know, I was a the plumber. Desk, <laughs> oh yeah. If if, if you want to, if y'all want to start working on the schematics of like the plan, I'll help build it. If y'all want to start working on the design, me and Maggie, because I can hit him in the face, and Maggie can shoot him, and we'll go check out what's a little further down. If it's Wait, bad, well, we'll sport, sneak right sport, back up. Come out. on, come over here, Gussie. We already saw that they were struggling with that lock back there, <laughs> and it was it, it was it was a rusted lock, nonetheless. Are yeah, you sure you want to just leave? listen? Just let let me handle. Actually, you know, better yet, you stay over here. I'll just go looking. I can always holler if I run into some problems. What? No. Just be stealthy. How about you not be hollering? No one goes alone. <laughs> Well, I holler if I need some help, like hey, I'm, 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 I'm uh, in, in some deadly need of assistance. Now I'll let you know, but I. I what if I, I follow I'm, you part way down at least? Look, I'll be fine. We got it. I, we can handle this. Bolt is here, okay? I was a plumber on the show, and I, you know, this is easy. Oh, uh, okay. 
Um, which, by the, I, I, like, so Sport's going to start making their way down. Before you make your way down, the other thing that you noticed was that there appears to be very jagged, um, like there's like uh, bits of broken tile and mm -hmm. stuff on these stairs that makes getting down these stairs, especially in this water, more treacherous. Uh, maybe we should, <laughs> you know, I think we might die if we go down these stairs if we don't do so with the water first. So let's, let's at you least. You could, it just the... might be more difficult. Why don't we why don't we come up with a rinky dink way to take care of the water for now and then we'll set up a permanent solution after we secure it. So make it right, safe right. for us to get down. So just something. Then we'll get down, check stuff out, kill whatever we have to, and then we make a nice one. So some sort of way to divert the water from going down the stairs. I cuz if Maggie takes a tumble there's a bunch of broken tile and shit. Maybe. So, we all can find some oh, wait. planks or some metal. I if you have, have common, can, right can I here. can I do something real quick? This What's is up? this is. Can I add a narrative detail, and like retro? Yeah, sure. Something. Yeah, if you'd like. Can I say that for some reason, um, also to um, what happened to be like I don't know. It was mixed in with the the uh, robot repair kit that. Um, from the shop, she happens to have some flex tape. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. That can plug up some some leakage. Yeah, we'll you say. Um, it's very rare, but you know, because yeah. she, Myrna, finds the rarest and the best stuff, you know, she just happens to have some flex tape. Sure. Yeah. If you spend, if you spend the 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 points, I will give you. Um, I will say that. Uh, uh, that will count as some of your materials. So if you spend five common okay. materials and one uncommon material, um, okay. you can build a dam to try to prevent the water flow and block this up. So I'm going to say that that's going to knock off. That would probably take care of three of your common materials. Um, okay. So you still just need two uncommon or two common materials and one on uncommon material. Did y'all have any? Uh, more materials left over from when you built camps. I think you'll you'll scavenge some, or you can scavenge in here and see. I have one uncommon, and I can spare the two common. Okay. Perfect. Then, um, okay. So you're gonna reduce the test by one. Uh, you are going to then roll. Double check. Hmm. Oh, difficulty. Oh, so it's going to reduce it to a difficulty of two to uh, to make this dam and uh, stop the water to make this area safer. All right. I can definitely draw. See, we have the materials, so mm -hmm. shall I draw some? Draw some plans up how how best to use our materials here. See how we do this. Yeah, Your science. Right. Sure. So, so who's leading the test? You're leading the test. Okay. Am I leading this one, guys? Yep. Lead it, yes. arrow. Okay. And, and anybody that's gonna assist, you can. I mean, I will. I will assist. I mean, this is. Repair. I mean, I think I assisted with the flex tape, but I don't know if I can. That, that helped reduce the the materials <laughs> needed. That was good. Yeah, that I was, was like, good. Maggie is not good at repair, so that was her trying to help. It worked. Uh, it was good. Will assist as well. Okay, so y'all both roll like one that. and Rob will roll two. So sport zero. <laughs> Wait, what? Stud? Was that another nat 20? Well, here's the thing. Yes, <laughs> I Please. am a construction. But Rob got two. That's what allowed. you needed. Rob got two. Luck re-roll that, huh? Uh, I don't even need to use luck as a construction protectron. So long as it is within my purpose and design, I can retry. Oh, yeah, as a because it was. That's part of your 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 origin. Just don't be a twenty again. Oh, and now one. Oh, 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 Stud, you turned that 20 into a 1, giving you two more successes, so you you gain two action points. 
Holy shit, y'all needed that. Um, <laughs> super the pendulum amazing. swing on this is insane. So y'all are up to action points. <laughs> you were able to block the flow of water with this little makeshift dam that y'all have made using the materials and the, the, ta the flex tape, and you're able to stop the flow of water. Uh, the water, uh, so you block the water, the water starts to trickle and um, eventually make its way down the stairs to wherever it was going, um, but this, the water is no longer on the stairs, making the stairs, now you can see, um, that you can kind of see where you need to go down the stairs so you're not going to get hurt. Um, and also, as you're making your way down the stairs, because you did pass your, um, your perception survival test earlier, uh, you also notice that there seems to be some kind of like a false wall of sorts, like a hidden door. There's like a keyhole in this side, uh, just like in the side of um, one of the, the wall going down. Uh, but there is, so there's a straight passageway uh, in front of you, but there's also a secret door. I mess with wall. it. I want to see if I can open it. Of course, of course you do. Uh, you can do agility or perception plus lockpick. <laughs> Another lockpick with a difficulty of two, if you would like to. I mean, Sport will start looking at this stud. <laughs> yeah, no, easy. No oh, problem. Yeah, I'm going to show time. you, though. Do you see where, like, and I'm going to try to help by showing stud where it is, so I will. I've been around for 200 plus years. You don't think I know how to do it? I, I think it's going to be, like, perception repair, I guess. Okay, so you, so he's leading it, but you, okay, so uh, so the test would be agility or perception plus lockpick for the main test, or uh, and then but if you're assisting, you can justify it. I, I would say that I've tried to explain the kind of lock and how they usually work according to schematics, but okay. Did you say it would be agility plus or perception? Agility or oh, perception okay. plus lockpick? Yeah, either one. I'm I'm, I'm gonna stick with perception. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, tiny hand do tiny yeah. magics. And I can re-roll that one, because I have Infiltrator. Okay. Please. Sport got zero, Stud got one, but is going to re-roll with a luck point. Stop playing. No. Hey! Infiltrator. A after after <laughs> uh, Sport uh, explains again how this lock works, you're able to, um, and you get those two successes. Uh, so... You did. You are successfully unlocking this door. Are you going to open it, or are you going to continue down the corridor, or are you going to peek? What are you doing? Yeah, What's the plan? Let's peek. Oh. Peek it. Peek it. Peek it. Peek and it. and I will it. say again, like as you um, like as you're st you're working on this lock and trying to unlock this door. Um, remember how I said that you heard as you were coming down here, you could hear this like. Um, metal striking metal in this audible rhythmic uh, uh, that was audible and rhythmic and dull it's louder right here by this door oh if it's louder by the door then yeah no stud because stud, I was going to say stud would then like brazenly see it's not that oh, no. so we're going to be easy take it carefully and stud's going to be like see it's not that peak <laughs> okay uh, so everybody's staying right here and going to peek. Okay. Uh, uh, I would also like to press save. Press okay. Save. Perfect. Save's You're going to save scum. That's good. That's good. Because. So as you like creak open the door just a little bit, th there is, uh, you can see inside this square chamber is a four-way junction for... Wait, no, 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 not, not that one. Um, <laughs> hold on. Sorry, you went to the other room. So, okay, no. So you open the door. Water is gushing. Water gushes out of pipes set high in the walls of this circular chamber. And the water is cascading down into this deep pit ringed by narrow walkway. The bottom of the crater is littered with twisted shards of broken metal, jutting spikes, and rusted chainsaws. The corpses of a hundred destroyed robots. In the middle of the pit, a large platform holds two hulking metal robots on tracks and wheels, each heavily armored. 
One brings a vicious spinning saw blade down to cut through the plating on its opponent. But with a lurch, the other bot rams backward and off into the pit. As the victorious bot spins in circles, letting out gouts of flame from a nozzle set high on its back, a triumphant cry comes up from the walkway on the other side of the pit. As you see, two women dressed in ragged, tattered, Children of Adam style clothing with controllers playing battle bots. And Maggie, as the door opens wider, they look kind of familiar. And that is where we're going to pause and save for next time. So Maggie, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like, <laughs> it. I don't like it. Why? Why did I have to get involved? I was not even really, you know, trying to go into this room. You know, um, Robo Arena. Yes. <laughs> and Children of Adam Battlebots. play Battlebots. It's it, they made a deal with the Rust Devils. Let's uh, we already know, and it's probably shoe spit. Butt face or whatever. She's been butt face. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. And I'm gonna have to shoot her in the face. Oh, uh, who are you talking about? The shoe shine. Shoe shine Parker. Oh, yeah. shoe Parker. Yeah. That's her new name. Shoe spit butt face. We'll see. <laughs> I'm excited. So, uh, so yeah. So thank you everyone for joining us this evening and finding out at least a little bit about what's going on in these sewers and all the hazards and all the the locked doors and all the fun stuff and all the that was fun all the nat 20s i loved that part that was great um so yeah thank you for watching everyone and thanks for playing y'all uh my name is april hill the community manager here at modifius and we're playing fallout uh winter of adam and um we're here almost every monday night if you want to catch up on this stream go watch the Modifius Live, not just the Modifius YouTube, but Modifius Live YouTube channel, and you can check out all the past episodes of this and um, all the past episodes of like our Star Trek Adventures campaign, our Dreams and Machines mini series that we did, um, also the Dune mini series that we are um, wrapping up here soon that will be live this Wednesday, uh, so you can come watch it here on Twitch or catch up with it on our YouTube Live channel. We have a bunch of other fun shows coming up. And um, the Cohorse Cthulhu Tactics Kickstarter will be kicking off soon. You can download the Quick Start right now for free off of our website. We still have, um, what's today, the 13th. So you still have one more day to get those um, Dreams and Machines competition, archivist competition entries in. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of, lots of stuff going on. So, um, yeah, and you can find me at April Nicole Hill on all the socials. I'm going to pass it over to Sport. Well, hey, everybody. My name is Taryn, also known as Bob Roots across the socials and the chat and other places. Uh, you can catch me here, and you can catch me tomorrow and other Tuesday. Well, you can catch me tomorrow and maybe a couple more Tuesdays over at the Red Hair Inn. We're getting ready to wrap up our like two plus year campaign. It's time for emotions. Um, so check me out there. After that, I'll be doing some other stuff over at the Red Hair Inn. So pay attention. I am doing some writing of my own. So if you are interested in other TTRPG things that are written by small peoples, then follow me, check it out, because eventually I'll be sharing things. And for people I know, they'll be getting playtest materials because yeah, um, I also make dice, um, coming back from hi hiatus soon, now that I finally soon hopefully have energy again. Um, but yeah, I have medium dice molds, not regular, not tiny, and not giant, medium. They're between the tiny and the big ones, because be different. And I love the D4. Like the I yeah, and my, my little so D4s badass. look like that too. They're so sharp it's, and cool. I love it, they're stabby. Yeah. Also, my D12s look like plum bobs, so <laughs> if you're a simmy, I've got that too. Yes. 
Uh, and Ian Nywall with the... Hello, everybody. I am Nywall. Thank you for coming to the stream today and, and looking at this sister of battle plots with us. Thank you for watching us fail, too. That was cool, right? So many I like that part, too. Um, so, I am the resident Bethesda guy, and I've been working on new forms of content, long-form content, uh, more more um, commentary base. We're resituating we're re the garage so I can properly bring forth this new commentary content. And we're going through the vaults in Fallout as of right now. We just dropped Vault 11 not too long ago. And I'm thinking Vault 22 is probably going to be next, or Gary Vault. I don't know. Y'all let me decide. 11's uh, <laughs> pretty rough, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, 11 was rough, but I was like, mm -hmm. I want to start heavy it's dark lore that's what we're covering anyway just to um, just to tell tell people what you're getting into <laughs> yeah new. exactly yeah, stage. yeah. It, it, it is pr it's it's pretty intense so uh if you want to see some more of that stuff uh check me out over on youtube i am nywall uh twitter nywall2 and i am nywall everywhere else actually so yeah thank mm. you not intense if they're in vault silly and now 30. uh <laughs> Uh, Rob, Thank what's you. up, everybody? Uh, Andrew J. Alandi here. I played Rob. I've been playing Rob Lovins this campaign. I got pronouns he him. You can find me on the internet, uh, Instagram and X at Andrew J. Alandi. That's Andrew, the letter J, then my last name A L A N D Y. Or I'm in the chat as Duralath, which is my Street Fighter Three gamer tag. Uh, I've been competing at Street Fighter Three for more than half my adult life now. Uh, I'm the lead commentator for the Jazzy Circuit, which is the, the third strike uh, tournament series in North America. And also, uh, as a small plug, I voiced Dr. Izu Chavez in parts of Dreams and Machines. So if you uh, are, check, again, check out Dreams and Machines, make sure you play through it. You'll hear, uh, you'll hear a little bit of the, the, interac the interactive parts uh, in that. And again, was uh, happy to lend my voice there, but I, uh, beyond that, follow me on the socials, and would love to hear from y'all. And again, thank you for putting up with the incessant punnery tonight, because it could not be stopped. It was so much fun. Y'all had me cracking up. I loved it. Oh, it's not my fault. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Maggie, Utaime. I found it very punny. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Um, I didn't tell anyone that I was going to tell good jokes tonight. Uh, they just, you know, it's just natural. It's just dad jokes for days. Hello, everybody. I'm Utahime. You can find me at U-T-A-H-I-M-E. Utahime Cosplay pretty much everywhere except on the app formerly known as Twitter. You can find me at Brianna Vitasa there. I play uh, Magdalena Suarez, Maggie, your beloved child of Adam who uh, is trying to figure out how she knows these two people. Uh, there's lots of questions, because I don't know what that means. Uh, but we will find out next week. Uh, but again, you can find me uh, uh, up to lots of tabletop shenanigans and also see Magic the Gathering as well. Um, you can find me over at the Red Hair Inn tomorrow, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time, for the continuation of uh, the Ephraim Expeditions. Again, um, as Sharon said, we are coming to a close on that one. But we're also coming to a close for our Dune campaign back here on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. You can find me as Sister Demir Azul. And uh, things are getting very spicy. Very, very spicy. Uh, and uh, literally and figuratively and all of the above. <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so if you want to see that, um, please be sure to check out too. If you've missed any of the episodes, um, be sure to check it out on the YouTube. Um, but other than that, um, stay tuned. There's going to be some announcements coming for some really cool stuff. Uh, and I'm going to be possibly dusting off uh, my YouTube uh, in a little bit. So I'm going to have some content. It's not going to be the dark lore, unfortunately, for Fallout. No. Uh, <laughs> but Hopefully you enjoy my How to Play series for Magic the Gathering just as much. Maybe not. It's okay. If it's your thing, if it's not, all good. Just as long as you uh, check it out. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, again for a fun night. This was, this was hilarious. I needed, I needed a good laugh. It was great. And thank you, everyone, that, that 
that talked in chat and hung out with us tonight. And if you're watching uh, on VOD, thank you so much for your support. And um, yeah, we love we love playing this game and we love entertaining you. So hope you were entertained tonight. And until next week, um, just uh, get wasted and and get sidetracked by bullshit every time. Okay, bye. Thank <laughs> you.